For the first year, a local veterans group will not be holding a Veterans Day program at the Eau Claire Area School District. As WEAU's Jessica Bringing explains, the decision was because of a disagreement over firearms. Yeah, Bob and Nikki, the Patriot Council says it will not be able to teach younger generations about the sacrifices veterans have made this year because the organization isn't able to properly do so. There are several different reasons cited, but one of the main concerns focuses around the firearms on school grounds. Now, as the last few years with everything that's gone on in our country, with the school shootings and, and everything, it's getting harder to be able to do our veterans program. Kay Olson with the Eau Claire Patriotic Council says this year will be one of the first that the organization will not be holding veterans programs on Veterans Day at the Eau Claire School District. Now it's getting hard to get into our schools. Olson says with recent school shootings, guns on school grounds have become an issue. But that also means hurting what she says is a meaningful tradition. It's really hard to tell those veterans that they're not able to bring those rifles in, which is the only purpose is to honor our flag and our country and to teach the kids and, and the schools just don't want our rifles in anymore. But the Eau Claire School District says while it wishes to honor the memory and sacrifice of veterans on Veterans Day, it's become more difficult to do so. We'd like to honor the veterans. Uh, we bring them in on a regular basis. It, there are just some conditions that we have to adhere to and shooting of guns, even with blanks, is something we just don't feel is appropriate given society and the concerns that, that we have and that the community has on school premises. The district says it wants to accommodate the programs, but has to keep in mind the well-being of the students and their families. We had families and students who were uh, uneasy, even with blanks being fired on school premises. We balance and say, how can we still honor the veterans and just with some limitations or some parameters around uh, what those organizations do on our grounds. But Olson says when it comes to firing the 21 salute during the program, there shouldn't be limitations. I was hoping maybe we could find a compromise, but when it comes to the weapons, there was no compromise. Olson says the Patriotic Council will hold a Veterans Day program at the Westside Burger King instead of at an area school on Veterans Day. She says there will be a wreath lane, taps, and a 21 salute starting around 1030.